Large crowd gathering in downtown Atlanta, dozens of religious leaders demanding equal voting rights outside of Georgia's capital. CBS 46's Brittany Edney is live tonight. And Brittany, this protest, it comes just months after lawmakers passed new voting laws that uh, SB 202 and these clergy members, they aren't letting up, are they? No, Tracy, they're not, and they say that next week they're going to be taking this fight to our nation's capital as they continue to push back at what they believe is blatant violation of voters' rights. We came because we understand that forward ever and backwards never. Across from the Georgia State Capitol. We know that we have an ear that's listening. Underneath dark storm clouds. But we want to make sure that that ear is not only listening, but that ear is connected to some feet and some hands and some voices that are continuing to walk out, speak out. Faith leaders from over a thousand Georgia churches unite to speak out against Georgia's new voting law. Some grandmother that's standing in line for six hours to vote to give her some water would be a misdemeanor. I mean, you know, just to think about this law and what it's what it does, it, it's a terrible bill. Would Georgia Democrats condemn as voter suppression? Their Republican counterparts label as the restoration of voter integrity. It wasn't any voter uh, mishandling. It was voters coming out and exercising their constitutional right to vote and casting their ballots that changed things in 2020. Fair, free elections. Faith leaders have called for the boycott of Home Depot, saying company officials haven't done enough to condemn new voting laws. And they're also criticizing state elected officials who backed the bill. The peach looks rotten if you don't let us vote. The peach got a scar on it if you stop us from getting to the poll. The peach looks like it will not go to the market if you don't let us pass our water. But Governor Kemp, get ready for peach cobbler because we will chop up the peace until Georgia is one nation with liberty and justice for all. And these faith leaders say that they are also pushing for the passage of the John R. Lewis Voting Right Act. Reporting live outside the state capitol, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News.